As the school year winds down, usually kids are gearing up for summer camp. Because of the pandemic, many summer day camps were canceled or moved online. And starting June 8th, summer day camps are allowed to open once again as Michigan moves into phase four of the stay at home order. However, for some, the decision to cancel or go virtual has already been made. So what does that mean for you and your kids and your wallet? I take a look in today's Rebound Detroit. 13 year old Joseph Mallinger was really looking forward to Boy Scout camp this summer. His dad was even going with him. That is until the coronavirus canceled Camp Lakota. How bummed were you when you found out your Boy Scout camp was canceled? I mean, I was kind of bummed knowing that I wouldn't be able to see my friends and do the stuff I did last time. His dad had paid in full. Still finding out if we're going to refund the money or roll it over into next year. Which, should they roll it over next year, that'd be great because they don't have to pay for it too much. Cranbrook summer day camps are offering to transfer your money to next summer's events too, but the camp's also going virtual, offering shorter live and interactive versions at a reduced price. We don't just give up. Uh, this is not an industry that gives up easily, that we will be in your home with you if we can't be in person if, on, with you on campus. But if an online camp doesn't work for you, Cranbrook will give full refunds, though going virtual could be a plus for your child. Now is the time to put your children into things that maybe they couldn't do before because there was a scheduling conflict or it was too far away from your home. Clint Salter works with dance studios worldwide, including 11 in Michigan. He's been advising them to come up with a virtual summer plan, but he urges parents ask about the curriculum. Lots of different activities that engage the child so they don't go like run and play in the curtains or go and jump on the couch. Spring Hill is not going virtual. It's canceled some day camps and June experiences, but Spring Hill is going forward with Michigan overnight summer summer camps starting July 5th, along with many day camps. Spring Hill's health and safety commitments include hand sanitizing, social distancing, even temperature checks. Of course, some camps are still waiting to make a decision. Here's your rebound rundown. Contact your camp to find out your refund or transfer options. Monitor your camp's website or email alerts for updates. Make sure you understand new safety protocols for in-person camps. And ask about the curriculum and discounts for virtual camps. The good news is many camps that book up five to six months in advance may have space available now and virtual options should be cheaper. But of course, in those cases, your kids will still be at home. Now with summer day camps opening next Monday, more options should be available.